Earlier this week, I made a community post basically talking about how I had just gotten the Winchester Expedition Big Game Long Range Ammo, which features the Acubon Long Range, a 190 grain bullet, with a muzzle velocity of 2750 feet per second. And in that post I said, if somehow this ammo gets box velocity and is sub MOA, it is a 6.5 killer. I did not post this to troll 6.5 fans. I actually believe the 30 out 6 with a 190 grain Acubon long range at those velocities absolutely does beat a few of the 6.5s. And so in this video, we are going to compare 30 out 6 versus one of the most popular 6.5s, the 6.5 PRC. We're going to find out, can the 30-06 really beat a 6.5 PRC? Let's take a quick look at the Winchester 30-06 ammo with the 190 grain. It has a muzzle velocity of 2750, which makes this a spicy meatball for 30-06. And I'll show you the load data in a sec and just how spicy it is. It really turns... The 30-06 that has always been known as a really good 300 to 350 yard cartridge to, whoa, this thing is pretty darn good out to 500 yards with it going 2,086 feet per second and 1,836 foot-pounds of energy. Now looking at the bullet, it looks like Winchester has done some type of weird crimp, definitely a Winchester primer. And if I was a betting man, this is not a guarantee, but I'm pretty confident they're using 6.5 stay ball powder, which will give you fast velocities. So I definitely think this is doable. In the right corner, we have the 6.5 PRC. And for this comparison, we will obviously compare hand loaded data, but we will want to start with factory ammo. And so we are going to use the Precision Hunter with the 143 grain. ELDX and it has a muzzle velocity of 2960 feet per second. Now the 6.5 PRC does have a BC advantage so I fully expect that this bullet is going to be flatter than the 30 out 6 is 190 grain. Let's just cut to the chase with this factory ammo. Let's see which one is better out to 500 yards. The 30 out 6 with a 190 grain Acubon long range and both the muzzle velocity 2750 3,191 foot-pounds. At 300 yards, the bullet's going 2,300 feet per second, and you have 2,255 foot-pounds. At 500, the bullet's going 2,043, and your energy, 1,761. Now, when I crunched the numbers, somehow <laughs> I got 1,761. I am doing it at sea level, and I will do the same for 6.5 PRC. 6.5 PRC, bullets go on 2960 with a 143 grain ELDX. Your energy at the muzzle, 2782 at 300 yards. Bullets go on 2521, so it is going faster than the 30 out 6 with 2019 foot pounds. At 300 yards, though, the 30 out 6 has 200 more foot pounds. At 500 yards, 2,251 feet per second. Energy, 1,610. So at 500 yards, the 30 out 6 has 150 more foot pounds. Now, I know you 6.5 fans are going to be crying. Why aren't you taking it out past 500 yards? Well, here is the truth about both of these. Both of these suck at long distance hunting. What do I mean? Well, for the 30 out 6, your energy is going to run out soon, and your velocity will also run out pretty quickly once you get probably past 600 yards. For the 6.5 PRC, yeah, your bullet's going to go a little bit faster, maybe out to 650 yards, but your energy is already around 1,300 foot-pounds. Now let's talk about these two numbers. This is the drop at 500 yards when zeroed in at 100. And the wind drift with a 15 mile per hour wind, there's 15 inches of drift in a 30 out 6. With the 6.5 PRC, as I said, well, it's a flatter cartridge. 
it's shooting a smaller bullet at a higher velocity with a higher BC. So it's going to have a 9 inch advantage. However, in wind drift at 500 yards, there's really not that big of a difference, about 2.5 inches. Now before we move on to the loading books to see the data, I want to give the 6.5 PRC its due. In general, you give me a random 6.5 PRC and a random 30-06 rifle, I would say the vast majority of the time, the 6.5 PRC is going to be easier to load for. It is going to be a more accurate cartridge. But with that being said, I've gotten incredible groups out of the 30 6 It is no slouch in the accuracy department. Get it in the right rifle. It will be extremely accurate. Let's take a look at the 6.5 PRC data with a 140 grain bullet, which is going to be similar to the 143 grain ELDX. And I want to point something out. Almost all of the 6.5 PRC data barrel length is a 26 inch barrel. And a max velocity in the Nosler book is 3,100 feet per second. Now, as I said, 26-inch barrel. I have some personal experience with the 6.5 PRC with a 24-inch barrel, which is what most hunting rifles are in. And the top velocity we've been able to get out of it is 3,000 feet per second with a 143 grain ELDX. And I know you're going to immediately point out, why aren't you using the Hornady book it has the 143 grown 3150. Well, show me a 6.5 PRC that can get 3150 in a 24 inch barrel. That'd be cool. I haven't seen one yet. Let's take a look at the 30 out 6 data with the 190 grain in the same Nosler book. The Acubon long range has a BC of 0.597, while the ELDX in the 6.5 has a BC of 0.625. So, a, an advantage definitely for 6.5. But a top velocity of 2,770 feet per second. So when I said before that this Winchester box ammo is a spicy meatball, it's definitely true if it gets close to 2,750 because the max velocity says 2,770. Let's go ahead and look at the data with hand loads. We are going to use the 143 grain ELDX with a muzzle velocity of 3,100 feet per second, which I think is really generous with a 24 inch barrel. Muzzle energy of 3,052 foot pounds, recoil around 20 foot pounds. Fun little fact, the 6.5 PRC and 30 out 6 have about the same case capacity. Out to 400 yards, the bullets go on 2,507 feet per second and 1,996 foot-pounds, and only 21.4 inches of drop. Now let's find out where we see the bullet going either below 2,000 feet per second or 1,500 foot-pounds. At 600 yards, now the bullet's still going 2,238 feet per second, so plenty fast enough to open up. And at 600, 1,590 foot-pounds. Now, if we really want to get technical, at 650 yards is when you're at 1,500 foot-pounds. You have 62.6 .6 inches of drop. 30 out 6 hand-loaded data, 2,770 feet per second, just a little bit more than the box ammo. Then it has 3,238 foot-pounds, so about a 200 foot-pound advantage. Uh, recoil, I would, this thing's going to be pretty stout. I would say at least 23 foot-pounds, maybe 24. Out to 400 yards, the bullet's going almost 2,200 feet per second, so plenty fast enough to open up. And a slight advantage over the 6.5 PRC in energy with about maybe 30 foot-pounds, maybe a little less, 28.5 inches of drop. Obviously, the 30 out 6 is not going to be as flat. Now let's take it out to where... The bullet will be going either too slow to expand or 1,500 foot-pounds. At 600 yards, we are at 1,932 feet per second, and it has 1,575 foot-pounds of energy, 82.6 inches of drop, so a pretty clear advantage in the 6.5 PRC for drop. Now, to get 1,500 foot-pounds, you're around 625 yards. So these are within 25 yards of each other, at least in energy. Now the title of this video is definitely a really bold claim, but I actually mean it when I say the 30 out 6 beats the 6.5 PRC. And what does it beat it in? Big game hunting. 
out to 600 yards. I would absolutely prefer a 190 grain bullet with the same energy, uh, with bigger frontal diameter than a skinnier 143 grain ELDX. I also asked my channel, and 95% of you agree, 30-06 is definitely a better big game cartridge. Now one thing that can't be disputed is just how superior the 6.5 PRC is as a target cartridge over the 30-06. A bit less recoil, higher BC bullets going faster. Yeah, it's kind of a no-brainer. 6.5 PRC beats 30-06 in target shooting. Soon I will be testing the 30-06 factory ammo with a 190 grain Acubon long range. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have a lot of high hopes with Winchester ammo. Uh, so I got a backup plan for if and when they shoot terrible and don't get the box velocity. Well, I just so happen to have some 190 grain Acubon long range that I can load in a 30 out 6 with Stayball 6.5 powder. And according to Hosgen, I can get 2750 with 6.5 Stayball. So stay tuned. We're going to find out how accurate this ammo is and how fast we can get it going.